another lesson. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the new Greta Van Fleet single, My Way Soon. Finally, after just over a year since their last release. Um, yeah, well worth the wait. Awesome new single. Can't wait for the whole album and they'll probably release a couple more singles too. So um, first things first, you guys have probably noticed already I have a capo on the first fret, whereas in the cover I did not. Um, <clears throat> I was just making life harder for myself because I don't typically go to the capo first to figure out a tune. So, um, and I've seen Jake throw his thumb over the top of the neck before Black Flag Exposition specifically. Uh, so I was thinking, you oh, know, he's getting fancy with his licks here. No, I was just making my life harder for myself. Um, and there were actually a couple people in the comments section who said, maybe there's a capo on first fret and there's one other guy on youtube who i saw did it with the capo and so i figured for the sake of you guys in the lesson i'll make your life your life easy i relearned it with the capo on first fret <clears throat> um and i'm going to be teaching it that way just because the other way is just so much harder than it needs to be um and i want as many people as possible to be able to learn how to play this song so um Either way, it still sounds the same, but I'm teaching it with the capo for you guys. So uh, let's get in with amp settings first. Um, <clears throat> this is the Marshall JVM 210, um, and the equalization as far as bass, middle, and treble, they're all at middle. Um, and then the gain is about half as well, and I'm on the green overdrive setting. So for those of you who don't have different overdrive settings, I'd say set the gain fairly low. Um, like it's not super heavy, um, but it's not too light either. Um, so set the gain about there. That's really all I've done with the app. I don't do a whole lot of else. And then as far as guitar settings, standard tuning, capo first fret. Um, I'm using the bridge pickup the whole time. And my volume knob, I've got it about nine ish. Um, and my tone knob, I've got seven to eight. And it just it gives a nice tone, and I quite like it. So, uh, yeah, I've had a couple questions about tone. Just play around with your amps, see what you can do, um, <clears throat> and turn the bass down a little bit if it's sounding muddy, um, or turn turn the bass up if it's sounding too twangy and, and whatnot. Basically, just play around with it, see if you can find that sweet spot, right? Um, yeah, let's get right into it then. So. This is definitely going to look weird because when you play like an E major chord, you're not used to seeing it on the the uh, inlaid fret. So um, this is just an E major position. Um, so um, I'm going to use regular fret numbers, even though we're bars here. So third fret A string, third fret D string, and second fret G. So. Uh, you, that's the position. You play the E and A string first, and then you play the rest of the chord on the second strum. So on the second strum, and then you play your pinky reaches over to fifth fret on the D. So. And then pinky off, and then third finger off. So open, open D, and then pinky to fifth fret on the A string and then back to open D. So. So. And then again. Same, same starting. And then instead of this time going to open D, you're going to slide up to, uh, that's 8th fret A string, 7th fret D string. And then slide that same position down two frets. So, so just playing in thirds here. So. And back into it. Same as the first time through. And then you go. Uh, this is just a D, D chord position without the um, the E string. So uh, third fret G string, fourth fret D, and then open 
G. Hammer on to third fret D string. Uh, hammer on pull off third fret G string. Fifth fret D string. Fifth fret G. Open B and E. And then half uh, half step bend on the fifth of the D string. And then back into the rip. through three times for their intro part. Um, after you go through that, um so that's the first part of the verse. Um, this is kind of tricky timing wise. Um, so down, down, up. So down, it's the E major chord position again. So down, down, up is on the E, and then the next down is on the open A string, which is a B flat. And then on the up, you're going to play the um, fifth fret of the D string. And then you're barring D and G at the third fret. Uh, so. kind of alternating back and forth here so that's where we left off open a and then third fret d string and then you play them both together uh, with fifth fret d string open a and then you play you let the open a ring and then you play third fret d string so. You slide up the fifth fret A string, and that's where you bar the third fret of the D and G, and then you play open G, and then back into that E major chord position. So. the same pattern all the way through it's just the end section that leads back into the E chord that changes so first time second time is the same except this time instead of going you're gonna go is just um, uh, third fret G string, second fret G string, fifth fret D, third fret D. So. And then back into the E chord, or that e, e major chord position. And then you go back to that slide. So one and three is that slide. And then four. With the verse, the first, uh, so there's two sets of four times you go through this. So we're on four right now. The first set of four on that fourth time, you do this bend. So you go fifth fret of the G string, a uh, whole bend, and then fifth fret, third fret, and then first fret, and then that goes back into the E chord. So fourth time. Now this is going into the second set of four. Now this is the fourth time in the second set. 
This time you just do the same. So you do that, um, and then you'll you will have gone through two sets of four times playing that riff. And this is where it's a little bit tricky as far as like hammering on, pulling off. So you play that D chord position without the E. So 3rd fret G, 4th fret uh, B. And then you play open G, hammer on to 3rd, pull off to open. And then play the open again after you pull off. And then I go to 6th fret A string, 5th fret B. is barred uh, D string G string on the third fret so you basically play third fret D and G and then open hammer on the third and then pull off and then back onto it so open hammer on pull off play and then back on the third fret and then you play your open A string with that as well because it goes with the chord so, the lessons as of late. Uh, I have been splitting them up into about half the song on YouTube, half on my Patreon page. Patreon is only a dollar a month and I've got tons of full lessons on there, some of which aren't even partially on YouTube because there was a point in time where I was just doing them on Patreon. Um, but I figured I still want to give you guys a chance to um, see if you like my teaching style, if you like it, a uh, dollar a month to go on Patreon and I don't change anything, I keep going the way I'm doing as in depth and you get access to every single video on there for a dollar a month or more if you decide to subscribe for more. I know some people are um, at the moment and I really appreciate that. But yeah, I just figured, you know, kind of split it up and um, still give you guys a chance to see what it's all about here and if you like what you're seeing check it out on Patreon. I'll leave the link down in the description box if you guys... So what we have left to cover in this song is the chorus um, and a guitar solo. And so those... And the lead up to the guitar solo. So um, those those will be in the full lesson on Patreon. If you like the video, go check out Patreon. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave that link down below too. Check that out. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to comment down in the video below or send me a message on Instagram because I, I most likely will respond as long as I'm not too busy. Um, and yeah, if, if you guys are just going to stick on YouTube, I hope this lesson helped. I look forward to many more Greta Van Fleet songs, covers, and, and lessons for you guys. So um, until next time, guys, keep on rocking. <laughs>